Hello there all you uh, pipe smokers out there. Uh, this is the Outdoor Briar with another video, my second of the day. And my video that I loaded earlier, uh, I showed you the purchase of this uh, estate Ben Wade pipe that I picked up in an antique store in Clovis. And I've got it all cleaned up and reamed out, and sanitized. I have to say, it looks really, really good. It's got a flaw in a briar right there. Uh, it is not a crack. Uh, I'm thankful that they did not use any of that pipe putty, uh, which really would have made a spot stand out with a light color on it. And um, I like it just the way it is. And yeah, I think it really turned out well. Yeah, beautiful pipe, great price. No tooth chatter. Yeah, looks really good. I think I had mentioned earlier that it had a, um, uh, a loose mouthpiece, a tin in there, and the pipe, uh, if you turn the mouthpiece to the left and right, it, it, was, it was a tight fit. So that tells me that the person who had owned this had uh, obviously removed this mouthpiece over and over and over again. And um, one thing I did learn, and I'm so thankful for uh, YouTube, and I believe it was Tom from Northwest Pipe Smoker. And on the tin in there, when you have a loose mouthpiece, uh, he uses something um, that was pretty simple. And I just use the same thing. I have a friend of mine who is a beekeeper and I got some beeswax. And I rubbed it on the tenon, just a couple of little dabs of it and rubbed it around and it fills in, uh, um, you know, just thousands of an inch. Uh, I got a tight fit, kind of lubricates it. Good to go. All right, I just want to show you my uh, latest addition to my collection. Hope you all have a great day.